does have you in sight. Reduce now to 1709. Contact San Francisco Carolina 0.5. Contact San Francisco On today's episode of AV868, we're taking the backcountry cub into the backcountry. Even though we did two low passes over the landing area, we still didn't quite grasp how big these mounds were. Thankfully, we have TK shocks on board to absorb all of that, and the aircraft came out undamaged. In the future, I'm definitely going to be looking over our landing area more closely. Yeah, six inches out of the ground. Less than that's mud. Thank you, Chad Palmer. <laughs> Right? With a lesson? <laughs> I never would have thought of that. Yeah. So we were originally going to land here. Good thing we didn't. Yeah, it's... Dine on Sky View. Oh, you're gonna do your pop up routine? Yeah, I think so. Feel yourself go down in a ditch and pop up like that, that's a good time too. If it... All right. I guess let's make our way over to there. And maybe just up this on your right there, up onto that little... Yeah. That'd be good. Kind of straight that way? I think so. Okay. Sure, we'll get off before that ditch. 
would think so. You know what? Yeah. Looks to me like if we went off to the left over there, we'd get another 100 foot. I think so. Right there. Oh, right back behind us over here. Oh. Yeah. This head when we really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Sure. Sorry about there. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Fuel pressure. This warning becomes erroneous when the aircraft shakes a lot. Just about. A little too soon. Yeah. What we're referring to here is popping the aircraft off the ground with the use of the flaps. I might not pull it back enough as well. Well, yeah, you want to come all the way back. What you got to do is you got to get the wing to take a bite. All right. I don't think you're getting the throttle in all the way. Oh, okay. Like I pushed it forward another inch or two. Okay. I guess we could do a few more here, maybe. Yeah, let's take a close look at it. Yeah, sure. I think this grass area over here is probably... You know, obviously we got the big... Very dog holes there. Oh, I was thinking Harper's, but... Oh, yeah, go. Yeah. Let's see. You might want to turn the volume up on whichever radio. Right. Uh, the radio is the top. The other side. Yeah, is that 122.9 on the top? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I seem like it's howling now. No. Yeah. It seems fine. Traffic, traffic, experiment for 33 minor fuel tankers entering a left midfield for runway 25 Parker.
Another wheel in. Definitely a win. About a 30 knot tailwind here. Coming in good, huh? Okay, so say dead stick here right here. Good. So the secret is, is don't get slower than 40. 40. Okay. Nice. Ah. Alright, so come to a stop and let's try a dead stop take. Okay. Alright, so inboard off the pedals. Alright. Yep. Ready? Flying a hundred feet before you <laughs> yeah. pulled the flap. Yeah. I realized. the ground were you last time? For, for what? When we did the dead stick. 200. 200 feet? Piece of cake, huh? Yeah, you know, if you stay close enough.
That's so fun. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of addicting, ain't it? <laughs> okay, so just slam the throttle forward this time. Yeah. And there you go. What do you figure that was? 150 feet? I think so. That's the uh, best angle and best rate and stuff. The best, you know, it's all basically super cup stuff. Uh, you know, 50. 52 is going to be your um, best rate, um, a little less than that, maybe 40, high 40s are going to be your best uh, um, angle. Uh, but at the, end, at the end of the day, the thing you got to remember is it's a super cup. Right. It's a super cup with slaps and some really All good right. flaps. something to do with these rear jacks. Yeah. Oh, man, this hot air is a killer. That was almost like ignition noise. Yeah, I'm aiming for these cones here. Bit pass. Well, <laughs> this is incredibly fun. I love it. Well, cool. Wanna head for home? Okay. And you gotta turn the volume up. Alright. And 
and then you want to switch to COM1 for the transmit. Oh, so you want to be on the same frequencies on both? No, but you're going to want one on uh, Casper Power Yeah, on the way in. And see where it says ground and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's already programmed or what? Yeah, it, it actually downloads it from the sky view. Oh, wow. So you can just hit power, ground, whatever like that. That's awesome. Yeah, so reported station Echo, 1653 Zulu, wind 220 at 11, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 24, 2.4, up temperature 29, 7, check that to altitude, visual first runway 21 in use, advise on initial contact to information Echo. Yeah, so reported station Echo, 1653 Zulu, at 11, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000.
as you go direct to or hit nearest. Uh, uh, off gas for tower runway two one zero for takeoff wind two one zero at four. And hit direct to or on your departure we have a lot of gas for a one mile off departure and stop. And hit direct to. Okay, let's take off two one. Now you you know you're four miles away. Turn two seven zero. Yeah, the lower left there gives you the right. waypoint. Awesome. Traffic departing prior to arrival, citation westbound. Uh, we're looking for the traffic, John. There it goes, hangar. Number 116, Kilo, cast for ground. Uh oh, departing. Looks like he's on the numbers. Number 116, Kilo, uh, where, where, where are you planning on going? You want to just come back up right for front of the top? Pretty interesting, only in pass, but we're cleared to land and there's somebody taking off right. on our runway. Number 1602, taxi is necessary, you can proceed on Alpha as needed. Almost. What's that? Almost there. <laughs> you might want to request a long <laughs> landing so you don't have to taxi all day. Thank you. I will. Or you could just fly down the runway at two feet. Alright. Casper Tower, uh, experimental minor kilo tankers turning on a uh, two mile left base now for 2 1. Experimental minor kilo tanker, ladder, runway 2 1, you are still clear to land. Better land 2 1, external land, kill the tango. Uh, request a long landing, possible. Citation 6 3, Juliet Golf, contact departure 1 2 0, contact in a bit. 26 5, 3 Juliet Golf. Technically, 3 Juliet Golf, tango, long landing approved. Long landing approved, now kill the tango. Technically, the uh, entire runway is yours once it's right. Just right. a courtesy. At least they know, right? Yeah. Always nice to be courteous. Oh yeah, sun, the sun isn't beating down on us too bad, I don't think. No, but it's not afternoon either. Right, yeah. So the bummer is you don't really have the option of going high. Just take too long to get there. Yeah. Okay, it's probably around... Between Alpha 5 and Alpha 4? Yep. I think Alpha 5 turnoff's perfect. Between 6 and 5 would be fine. Oh, is the one past the runway 6? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was 5, yeah. That's what I meant. Tango, turn to left at Alpha 5 or Alpha 4. Taxi to parking via Alpha and monitor ground. Left Alpha 5, parking via Alpha, monitor ground. Uh, external, minor, kill Tango, you have a good day. You as well. And you didn't use any flaps. Nope. Yeah, I figured with the wind it would probably be better not to, but I guess you could have, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I did a chopper and an air taxi off to your left. There? Oh. Yeah.
I think I found my new favorite airplane. Backcountry flying is some of the most fun you can have and I can't wait to do it again. In the meantime, stay safe, keep flying, and I'll catch you in the next one.